All right, so I'm going to attempt to go through diels alder reactions and see if we can come up with the answers to question 39 in the textbook, 350, uh, page 357, okay? The thing with diels alder that we want to remember is that he is wheeling and dealing. Wheel, we're making a cyclic compound, okay? What else? Diels alder, we are connecting a negative nucleophile and a positive electrophile to make this happen for the most part. And our first part is going to be a conjugated diene, and our second part is going to be called what's called a dianophile, which is usually some type of carbon double or carbon triple bond. Okay, so that's that's the name of the game here. So let's look at 39. And what do we have? We have uh, kind of a double, we have a diene here. So we have a C, C, four carbons. These are each going to have an H. These will each have an H. Let's put this more correctly. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have. And what are we adding it to? Well, we're adding this. Let's see if we can at least draw this. We have a triple bond in the center. Already starting us off on a complicated foot here, carbon, carbon, okay, dear sweet Jesus, okay, yeah, this looks crazy complicated. All right. Do we have a negative charge and do we have a positive charge? Well, no. Okay. Well, can we make some resonance happen with this in order to, to do that? Well, I don't see any resonance that can happen here to make a negative charge. I mean, I guess I could pull one of these lone pairs off, I just don't know that I would want to do that, right? I don't know that I would want to do that. And I'm actually going to rewrite, this looks, the way I drew this is a little bit more complicated than, than I really want. So I'm going to rewrite this like this. Right? That's all that is. That's all that is. This single bond in the middle with two double bonds attached, that's all that is, all right? This is like a good hallmark of a conjugated diene. Why is it conjugated? Because the bonds are one away from each other. This is a single bond between two double bonds, all right? So we're adding it to this crazy complicated thing with a triple bond. Can we do resonance here? Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Um, I mean, yeah, if we move one of these here, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative. I don't think we want to do that, though. I don't think making a negative charge here would make any sense. But if we're doing a triple bond, Huh. Do they even have examples of triple bonds?
Oh, so look at this. So as our triple bond approaches, as our triple bond approaches, the way I look at this is if our triple bond is approaching, if this was a double bond, everything kind of like rotates to the left. That will deals alter into this. That will deals alter into that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Okay. That will deals alter into that. Well, what about a triple bond? What if I have this? approaching this, then what's going to happen? Well, you would think the same rotation kind of happens. And you have this, right? That's what you would think. And that's actually exactly what's happening in the bottom here. So if that's the case, if that's the case, and we simplify the drawing, can we simplify the drawing of what's up top? Let's copy this. All right, I don't think we need to do any resonance here. Can I simplify the drawing of what I drew up top? Because I have this. And the way I look at this is like, I put like these in an internal fashion. And as this approaches, these will all rotate. And what will happen is that this comes here, this joins there, and this comes there. And this blue one becomes this bond. This blue one becomes this bond. This blue one doesn't have a gap to fill and becomes this bond. So that the blue ones over here are this, this, and this, all right? Everything kind of rotates like a lock and key and that's how that works. So can we simplify this crazy thing we drew on the right? Well, does it really matter? Because bring in your triple bond. Bring in your triple bond and you know what's gonna happen is this is gonna turn into this. Okay, where your triple bond was, your triple bond became a double bond. And what was attached to this double bond? Well, I had a carbon, I have a carbon, I have these oxygens, oxygens, and then just another carbon, right? These are ketones. That is what I think the answer is to this first one. Let's see if I'm right. Go to my trusty Slater. Three fifty. Oh no, we're on page three fifty seven. We're 
we're looking for 39. And we won our first one. And that's exactly right. That is exactly, exactly right. This is our answer. No residents. You don't need anything crazy for this one.